and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a 1989 kind of video because we've got our 1989 top on and we've got our 1989 earrings on and that is because we are going through the VIP package from the 1989 tour. So I went to see the 1989 tour twice but I have the VIP package for package but I had the VIP package for one day and that was the Manchester date so I went to the Manchester date in the UK which was the 24th of June 2015 and I also went to the Hyde Park date in London which was the 27th of June 2015 and I'm just going to show you what was included in that VIP package first up I'm just going to show you the ticket so this was the ticket this is just in a big kind of like box I have uh, a shadow box but that is the ticket I had for the 1989 tour so as you can see there it says for the actual ticket it was six £67.50 but it was a VIP package so basically that is just the face value price of the ticket whereas the VIP package is more expensive. If you don't know basically for Tales of Concerts the VIP package is usually where you get the best seats. You may have seen some of the stuff for the Eras tour basically if you wanted to get the closest seats you would most likely have to pay for the VIP package. The same goes for the Reputation tour. There are usually a handful of tickets that are then released outside of the VIP package for like Pit and like the closer seats but the majority majority are reserved for this VIP package. So with the 1989 tour there were different VIP packages, you could get the pit, um, kind of like the standing areas and also the lower area of the lower tier and that is where I was. So I was the like lower block, the first block there, the stage was there and I was row C which was the third row um, and we paid for our ticket £200 each. So that included the ticket itself, which was like a close view, as well as the merchandise we got. And both of us got the merchandise, so I went with my mum because I was only 15 and we always go to see Tales of together and we both got the merchandise package. And this is different from the Eras tour and from the Reputation tour because you picked your VIP package merch up at the actual um, venue. Whereas with the Reputation tour and the Eras tour, you will get it if you will either had it sent to you or you will get it sent to you basically um so it is slightly different in terms of that whereas we picked it up from the venue so as i said you got the ticket with that price but you also got merchandise some of this merchandise was exclusive for the vip package but a lot of the merchandise was also available on the stalls whereas now i believe the majority of merchandise that you're getting in this is specific for the vip which is really good because you kind of get an exclusive stuff for the price so first up we have a bag. So in terms of these, I have duplicates of all of them. So one set is used, the other set isn't. Whereas the, I'm gonna so, show you the used ones because the other ones will be like in a bag or whatever. But yeah, this is what you got. This is like a little kind of like bag. I used to take it um, traveling. So if I'd ever go on holiday, I would take this with me. Other than that, it's not the most fashionable belt. Fashionable? It's not the most fashionable belt. It's not the most fashionable bag in the world, I will admit but it, it is good for traveling. So it looks like this, um, you can see inside. We well, can see that it, I took it traveling with me because it has some billboard, um, like little earphones in that we got on the plane when we flew with Delta. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I don't really, I don't use it really other than that. So that's what it looks like inside. It's got a big pocket. Um, yeah, it looks like that. And then on the back as well, it also has a zip where you can kind of store like more important stuff. Like I put like my passport in here and kind of like my money or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is what I take. And there's also another one there on the front uh, zip that you put like in this bit. Um, so yeah, that is that is this little bag you got. Again, it's not the most fashionable, but it, it, it was quite handy for like traveling. I've really used it in a couple of years actually, um, but I did used to really, really like this for the traveling so that is that is what it looks like and it just has like the 1989 like tall logo one which i'm i'm just obsessed with next item so this is an item um that i didn't use personally like i used it more for storage and it is a cup now it did used to have a straw in it but the straw is it's somewhere i i could not find it uh, because i put a lot of this stuff like in like underneath my bed in boxes um to keep it getting like not as damaged um so this is the lid that is me hello um so it's just like that it also came with like a straw and um this is what it looks like uh, so it just says like 1989 world tour on and then taylor swift um as you can see a little bit damaged now because this is quite old now um uh, but yeah this is this is what the cup looks like pretty basic again but um cute i love the 1989 tour logo so i was happy to get more things with it on but this is one that like personally didn't really interest me because um i just wasn't really going to use it like you know it just 
I don't know, I, it just never really was for me because I always kind of just use like cups and we have a dishwasher and I don't want to put this in the dishwasher because I presume it's not dishwasher safe, I imagine. Next up, we have sunglasses. So there were two sunglasses uh, there were two sunglasses available, and unfortunately with our VIP package, we got the same twice. So these are the black ones with like the blue case. There were also ones in a pink case with pink sunglasses, but you could not get them in the VIP package. You had to buy them at the stall, and you could also get these at the stall as well. Um, I can't remember exact prices, um, but this is what they look like. I wore these religiously in 2015. These were like my only sunglasses. Um, they have never broken. They are honestly really, really solid sunglasses. I, I used to love them. Iconic. So Taylor starting at the Hyde Park um, section of the tour. She wore the sunglasses. I don't think she wore them before that. And then she threw them off and put them in the crowd. So uh, crowd members did get them, which is really cool. But um, these are these are them. So these are just the black ones. I definitely prefer the pink ones and I kind of wish we got the pink ones but because we got two copies of, two copy Like two of the, like these ones, we were like we can't really justify getting the pink ones as well. Um, so that was a little bit annoying. Um, I wish like you could kind of specify which ones you wanted. That would have been quite good especially because you're paying quite a lot for that VIP package. Um, and like it would be good like if you're going with someone, you know, two of you are going, that you could get different merch. Um, I made a video about like the VIP package for the Eras tour and everyone was like, oh, so just, just like, can I get the VIP package for myself and then the person next to me just get a face value? Nope, you both have to get the VIP package and you both get the merchandise. Um, which can be a little bit annoying when you're going like with your parents because like then they get the VIP package as well. And you usually only need like one of this stuff. So that's why you'll see after the concert a lot of people then sell the stuff on because they don't need to lots of it but yeah this is the sunglasses case again pretty good sunglasses case i can't really fault it it's just annoying that you got the same ones twice next up this was exclusive for vip and it is a lanyard so this is the 1989 tour lanyard she looks like this is that backwards is it forwards i do not know um but yeah this is just the lanyard it doesn't get like you like access anywhere like it's just basically for show as it says at the bottom I don't know if you can read that, but it's basically like this gets you nowhere, but it's cute and it's got like that so it, it changes, which is quite cool. Um, she is nice. Um, I don't know if I even wore her at the concert. I think I, I didn't actually open my VIP package at the concert because I didn't want to like lose any of it. But yeah, this is this is what she looks like. She's quite a cute one. We like her. So yeah, that is... Um, that's that it's, it's just a lanyard but it's, it's nice because like you can take this off as well so you could use it for like work or for your keys or whatever or anything people use lanyards for so that's quite cool next up is the tour program so yes you could get this outside of the vip package you can always get like the tour program at the merch stands but you got a copy in each of the vip packages so this is what it looks like um people who got loft 89 they always got this last page signed um th there was no like just because obviously you usually wouldn't take anything to the concert with you um to get signed because you obviously you don't know if you'll get chosen whereas people that did but now when she does meet and greets including after show meet and greets she tends to just give out pre-signed things to save time but yeah this is the page i've seen a lot of people get signed um and they are the visuals from clean when she was singing clean but let's show you what's in this so again as i said you you could get this on the merch stands like people go around with them um but i really like getting a tales of tour program uh, personally i just think they're really nice to have on the first few dates of the tour i don't really think you tend to be able to get them because a lot of these photographs are actually taken during the concert and not like doing just dress rehearsals so it you can't really get it for the first few dates um but if there was a tour program included in your vip package i believe you didn't get it at your concert but then you got it mailed to you afterwards uh, if that makes sense but obviously because i saw the tour like a month in we did get the vip back at the tour program while we were there so just as like the different uh, songs she's performing with the different outfits um she wore like different variants of the outfits so these first like ones are from the first dates which i believe were in tokyo um but then she wore like different variants of some of these outfits um as she did as well on the reputation tour and i imagine on the euros tour but yeah you're getting some really good photographs here and i just we love it um, sometimes she does change the set list as well so sometimes songs will be on this or outfits will be on this because she did not I think she she stopped wearing this outfit um, but yeah outfits will um, change she'll stop wearing certain outfits like this one it looked like this at the beginning and then she wore one that was just kind of like 
strapless so outfits change a little bit um things change a little bit songs sometimes change a little bit so the tour program won't always be like accurate um because she'll cut certain songs sometimes and then not others but yeah these are what they look like all you have to do is die so this is another one where she changed the outfit afterwards um and this is where she either performed one or the other so basically at the beginning of the tour she was doing you're in love or wonderland and then she started to do extra surprise songs that weren't either of these um both of my shows i saw you're in love and it was just one of the most beautiful experiences ever uh, but that's just an outfit there that she did not then wear afterwards and she wore these so we've got clean and these other visuals that were behind her on the screen. She's got a big screen. Um, Love Story was iconic. But that you can see, you know, it's crowd photos. So you can't get them during dress rehearsals. Style, iconic. Add blood, iconic. And she had a couple different outfits with this as well. So um, there you can see um, she does perform. Well, at some shows she performed this love. But it was eventually cut from the set list just to save time. Um, and she tends to do that so at the beginning of the Red Tour she was performing um, Stay 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 a mashup with Ho Hey the Lumineers song but then that was cut um, so certain things you'll see that I then cut oops I just skipped a page but yeah but then the ones you want like Shake It Off and stuff they won't they won't be cut it's only the ones that are kind of like um, not as like popular um, so yeah these are the tour these are the different dates of the tour um, where am I? There we go, Manchester and London. There are my dates. So you can see I was quite early on in the tour. And then she finished in Australia. Tour rehearsal pictures. These are all of the like band, all of the backup singers, all of the dancers. It's just really nice to go through. Um, and yeah, this is the set list. As you can see there, it says This Love, but this was caught. And it also says Wonderland, but that wasn't performed every single show. Um, there you go, more just fantastic pictures. And as you see there, there's like little dots there of light that you can see. Those little dots are wristbands. Um, let me show you. The little dots that you saw on that photograph, they were wristbands. This is what you get given at a Tales of Tour. This is not to do with the VIP package. Everybody gets these when you walk in. You either get them as you walk in or you get them um, on taped on your seat. I prefer it when you walk in because then obviously other people can't just take them. But this is what they look like. They usually have a little like tab that you're meant to pull out. Make sure you pull it out before the concert starts. Otherwise your wristband will not work. So they look like this basically, they're like infrared powered or Bluetooth or something. They're one or the other and basically they just interact with the show. Um, at the Reptor VIP baggage and then the Aerator VIP baggage, they also, this will come with a lanyard that will also interact with these uh, wristbands as well. So make sure when you get it delivered to you, you also bring that lanyard to the concert. But this is just something that everyone gets and it is free and it just interacts with the show and gets, you get, you just get the most amazing pictures with these. So yeah, this is the um, tour booklet. You could get this outside of VIP baggage, but you did get it with the VIP baggage. It looks like this. It's quite cool. You can see it's kind of like 3D. It's cool. So I have saved the best tour last and this are, these are the 1989 tour lithographs. So if you don't know, the 1989 um, album, basically when it was first released, came with little like Polaroids. And then when she did the tour and the VIP baggage, you got a set of four of them, I believe. So let's have a look. They were stored in this little case. Um, and these were exclusive for the VIP package. Um, so it just says VIP lithographs from Taylor, which is kind of similar to what the um what the like when you got the um album it said photos from taylor whereas this is like vip lithographs from taylor usually i don't collect lithographs like i just it's just not something i really collect because I, I can find them to be quite expensive but it was a nice kind of treat to get these ones because they're just so gorgeous so this is what they look like they're basically just kind of like giant versions of those polaroids you got and they don't have any text on whereas the ones you got in the album did so these are what they look like they're just they're so gorgeous this was definitely my favorite part of the vip package because these are just like so nice i yeah i just i really really think they're nice um i've got i've got two packets in one here so i just need to separate them there we go so these are the four that you get they're just i love them so much i just think they are they are so stunning. So they're definitely my favourite part of the VIP package. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's just been a little rundown of the 1989 tour VIP package. Uh, as I said, I paid £200 for my ticket. The face value of the actual ticket I got was £67.50. But as I said, you tend to be able to get closer tickets with VIP because they either release the 
tickets outside of VIP later on and you well, aren't guaranteed it or they don't do it at all so um, that's kind of why you pay the extra because you kind of want the close tickets um, and then you also get all this merch um, and I, I'll just run over it yes for the Eras tour as well this counts for the Eras tour um, everyone that buys the VIP package will get the merch um, and it will be shipped to the address I believe that bought the ticket so if you bought the ticket off someone else make sure that you're getting that VIP merch because you don't want to lose out uh, but yeah, I hope you've liked this video. I hope it's kind of shown you what a VIP package is like. Um, this is obviously for the 1989 tour. It is different for the Eras tour, Reputation tour. Every tour is different, but this is just the 1989 tour one. I hope you like this. And if you want to see more Taylor Swift videos, make sure to like and subscribe. I do so many of them. I do unboxings. I do reactions, all sorts. So it would mean so much if you could subscribe. And I hope you have a really, really good day. And thank you so much for watching.